Let's chat about the Sig Sauer Romeo 5. I have owned probably half a dozen, dozen of these. Uh, we use these in our shooting experience, and uh, I love them. The price is so right. Yeah, it's not a Trijicon, but it's really good. So to turn these on, on the top, you are going to see that there's a plus sign right over here and a minus sign right there. Well, the plus sign, you press and hold that, and that is what makes the uh, the optic come on. And turning it off is the same thing. You press and hold the plus sign for just a moment, and it goes right off. On the top of the optic, this bright and shiny thing right here, uh, well, it's bright and shiny because I have the cap off. It has just a regular flathead screwdriver. That is how you adjust the elevation of the red dot. And then on the side, there's another one. This has the, the screw cap on it. You unscrew that little piece and then use a screwdriver on that as well. That's how to adjust left and right. And like with almost all optics, you turn in the direction that you want the next bullet to land. This comes with a Picatinny rail on the bottom, and it's actually something that can be detached. There are four screws here uh, for removing this base. And I'm having to do that because of all of the ones we've had, all of these SIG Romeo 5s, we finally had an issue that this one is not holding its uh, same zero perfectly. So I'm going to get to see how SIG Sour is. Obviously, they can't be as good as Vortex, but we're going to see how good their customer experience is in uh, getting this fixed or replaced, uh, see how easy that process is. Another feature here on the side is you're going to see this larger piece. This is for, uh, this is unscrewed. That's where the battery goes. It's a 2032 battery. So a very common battery. The dot is nice and crisp. I enjoy using it. Uh, it works really well. I love the auto off and the auto on feature of it. You're always forgetting to turn uh, optics on and off, but not with this one. This one allows you to, when you're finished using it, just set it down and it will go off on its own. You pick it up, it comes right back on. And then the dot, when the battery gets low, it doesn't just immediately go out. It starts getting too dim. And as you try to push the buttons here, the plus sign um, to make it brighter or the minus sign to make it less bright, you'll notice eh, that's not working. It's not getting bright enough. That means it's time for a new battery, but they last almost forever. They're just, they're excellent. This optic does not magnify the thing that you're looking at. Uh, it's great for close-up stuff. You know, getting out beyond 100 yards, yeah, that's going to be a little bit tougher. The dot will take up, the 2 MOA dot will take up more of the target. Uh, but for close-up stuff, it is awesome. So I do strongly recommend this, even though this particular one I'm holding, we've had a little bit of an issue with. Um, I do highly recommend these. These are great. Uh, go get yourself one.